welcome back to my channel. So for all of my babes out there who are in high school, homecoming is around the corner and one of my biggest struggles in high school was trying to find homecoming dresses that were cute and were flattering to my curvy figure and didn't cost me a fortune because your girl worked a minimum wage job all the way through high school so I did not have a ton of money to spend on homecoming dresses. So a lot of online websites tend to have these gorgeous dresses. They look stunning in pictures and the price seems a little bit too good to be true. So today I ordered a bunch of those dresses from Amazon and eBay and I'm gonna be trying them on for you. I'm gonna divide this video into two parts, the Amazon dresses and the eBay dresses because I ordered 10 dresses and that's a lot for one video. So make sure to subscribe to my channel so that you can check out the part two of eBay homecoming dresses that's gonna be coming out next week. So I started off by browsing through Amazon, just typing in different keywords and putting in different price ranges and seeing what popped up. And I knew I really wanted to try on a two piece dress because that's a really popular style, but sometimes it's hard to find one that like flatters a curvy figure. And the biggest problem that I found with this is that I would search for a certain price range. It would say a dress was, you know, $15. And I would click on the image, it'd be this stunning dress. But as soon as I adjust the size, regardless if I changed it to size nine or 10 or like one or two, it instantly changed the price to like, 70 or $100, which I wanted to keep all these dresses under $30. So it was like a really mean marketing tool where I kept thinking I was getting a good deal and then as soon as I selected the details, it was not as cheap as I thought it would be. But I did finally find a dress in the price range I was going for, this little black sparkly two-piece dress. This was $18, I got it in a size nine and I thought it was gonna be a little bit of a gamble because it was so cheap and it didn't have any reviews. It looked cute and flattering, but like I didn't have any basis to go on if I was even gonna receive this product or what it was gonna look like. And let me just say, I was pleasantly surprised. Once I got this on and zipped up, it was surprisingly cute and flattering. The top was really flattering. It zipped easily, the fabric felt high quality, and I liked that it was relatively long, so it would pass pretty much any school's dress code. The small part of my skin between the skirt and the top that was exposed wasn't too much, so I thought it was kind of like a good balance between that two-piece look, but not anything that's gonna be a red flag on your school's dress code code for homecoming. The only negative thing I have to say about this, honestly, is that the skirt kind of looks like a tutu that you would get at Party City for like a last minute Halloween costume. I know that's like weirdly specific, but that's instantly what I thought of with this dress because the tool just looks a little bit cheap. But for $19, this would be a great homecoming dress look. It's black, so it's classy. The two piece gives it a little bit of like a sexy flair. And the bedazzling on the top actually seems pretty high quality and doesn't seem cheaply done at all. I think you could definitely get a higher quality two-piece dress, but for the price, I think this one's a pretty good deal. The second style of dress that I knew I wanted to try was an off the shoulder look because those have been really popular lately and I wanted to see if I could find a cute one in my budget. This dress that I found was a little bit more casual. I think it would still pass for homecoming, but it's definitely on the casual side. It had that off the shoulder look. It was cute and girly and only $14, so I pulled the trigger. Okay, so when I took this dress out of the bag, the first thing that I didn't like was the zipper was nearly impossible to zip up. And this was not because the dress was too tight. It was actually a little bit looser than I would have liked. The zipper was just very cheaply made and I could not get it up. I ended up having to like put the dress on backwards, zip it up that way so I could get it perfectly and then turn it back around. Also, the waist was a little bit higher in real life than it looked in the photo. So it wasn't quite as flattering because I have a lower waist. So it kind of made me look a little bit frumpy and didn't do too much for my figure. The off the shoulder part of the dress actually did fit me really well. It wasn't sliding off. It was nice and tight, but it wasn't squeezing me. It's a really cute and girly and flowy dress and I was having fun like twirling around in it. My biggest complaint though is that there isn't any elastic at the waist. In the photo, it looked like there would be, it looked like there would be some definition, but it really is just the two pieces of fabric coming together. And other than that, there isn't any extra definition there. If I was gonna wear this dress, I would definitely add some sort of belt. I don't hate this dress, but it definitely isn't exactly what I expected. The next dress I found was probably the one I was most excited to try on. It was in this stunning blue color that's my favorite. It had a bedazzled top, it had straps so you could actually wear a bra with it. This looks like the kind of dress that I would have picked out for my homecoming. It's totally my style and the price was a little bit higher. Like I said, I was trying to keep everything under 30. This dress was 34 so I'm gonna give that one like a little bit of leeway because I really wanted to find a dress that looked like this and this was by far the cheapest one I could find. So while I was putting this dress on, it was enough 
another difficult zipper. This dress actually was a little bit tight, so I think it was a combination of that and it being a cheaper zipper. So it was a little bit hard to get that zipper up, but once I did, it fit like a glove, and honestly, I would not have gotten it in a smaller size because the only place it was difficult to get up was around my chest. Everywhere else, it fit perfectly. I think for this price, this dress is an absolute seal. The top is that stunning beaded detail. The skirt was flowy and full and chiffon, and it looked like an expensive dress. It looked like an $80 or $90 dress from Windsor. My only issue with this dress, which isn't even really an issue with the dress, just more with my proportions, was that the straps were a little bit too long. So if I were to wear this dress, I would need to get it altered. They were just a little bit too loose. But I also do have really small shoulders, so it might work perfect for you. And yes, it is $35, so it's on the higher end of that like cheap dresses spectrum. But still, for that price and that quality, I think that this is probably like the hidden gem of the Amazon dresses. I really wanted to find a bodycon dress for this video because bodycon dresses are really popular for homecoming. You know, they're tight, they're sexy, they're cute. I went to homecoming only three years. I didn't go my junior year, but my first two years I wore a bodycon dress and I really, really liked the way those both look. I found this black bodycon dress and what I liked about this is it had like that little bit of an extra something with that top part. It looked like kind of gold and shimmery and it was in the price range, so I ordered it. As soon as I took this dress out of the bag, I could tell that it was the highest quality like fabric and stitching of all the dresses that I ordered. It took a minute for me to zip up, but that wasn't because the zipper was cheap. The dress was just tight because it's bodycon. So once I got it up, it like zipped super smooth. Now bodycon dresses can sometimes make me a little bit body conscious. Get it? Bodycon, body conscious. <laughs> but this was a really flattering bodycon dress. I don't know if it's because the fabric was like a little bit thicker, a little bit more high quality, or because it isn't that like tight spandex material, but I didn't feel like this was clinging to my tummy at all and I felt really confident in it. And that top detailed part that originally drew my eye to this dress when I saw it on Amazon, it ended up being really cute in person too. And if you were going with a date, this would be a perfect way for your date to match you because then they could just wear a gold tie. This dress was 27 and for that price, I think it's a pretty good deal, not as good of a deal as the blue dress. It's easier to find a cheap bodycon dress than it is to find a cheap like homecoming sparkly dress like that one. But this one I think is definitely still a pass, definitely still a good deal. So up until this point, the first four dresses all went pretty well. Like some had some minor issues, but you know, all in all, they looked pretty good. Like they were pretty similar to the pictures. And then came dress number five. Oh, dress number five, how you deceived me. So on Amazon, this dress was $13. I loved the like low dress with the chiffon overlay. It was sparkly, but it was so cheap that I figured there had to be something wrong with it and I was right. So the biggest issue with this dress, let's just let's just call out the elephant in the room. The area for your boobs is so small, it would be impossible to wear a bra with this. I was wearing a strapless bra, the same strapless bra I tried on all the other dresses with, and you could legitimately see like the entire bra. Because this back part right here, it's literally like a headband. Like, look at me, I look like a Coachella princess right now. Not like this is a homecoming dress. Anyways, aside from the bra issue, the stitching was really cheap. The seams were already coming undone. The chiffon was like, it looked like it was cut with a pair of scissors. It was not hemmed at all. So I already knew this dress was gonna be a big fail, but I wanted to see what it would look like if I took my bra off. Maybe that would solve some of the problems. Maybe it would look better. I mean, this clearly isn't a dress that you're meant to wear a bra with, so I thought, why not try it? And then I instantly regretted that decision. <laughs> so like I said, this bra part is so small, but that problem was made so much worse when I took my bra off. If I pulled up the top to where I felt like it was supposed to be and I wasn't showing too much cleavage, I had massive underboob. And if I let it go down so that I wasn't showing underboob, I had way too much cleavage. This just, it does not have enough fabric. Yeah, this, this was a fail. I'm glad I got one good fail out of this because I didn't want them all to be perfect, but I didn't want them all to look bad. You know, I wanted a balance. Thank you so much for watching. If you are looking into getting a cheap homecoming dress, hopefully this video was helpful to you. Like I said, I'm making a part two of this video with cheap homecoming dresses from eBay. So we'll see how that one goes. That'll be up next week. So make sure that you are subscribed and have notifications on so that you can see that one when it comes out. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.